hey guys welcome back to my channel this is um unusual chef aisha <laughs> i hope you guys are following me on instagram so today i just want to do a quick asun it's my husband's birthday and goat meat is his favorite meat so i decided that today i'm going to make asun because he really likes it and it goes well like they could just sit and have it with um a drink and watch football or watch news or watch a movie and all of that him and his buddies so yeah this is um vegetable oil in my pot already my fire is on i just wanted to make the video really quick and just show you guys everything that i'm doing and here i have my chopped goat meat i've already chopped it up in little bits and pieces because that's how asun is supposed to be made so i'm just going to allow i told you guys that my trick is i never let my oil get really hot because i don't like that so i'm just going to put in my meat like that in my pot and the oil you can see the oil is really hot because my gas burns really fast and usually i would spice it up before putting it in the pot but today i'm trying another twist like my asun is never one way. I'm always <laughs> coming up with new, new ways to make my asun. Basically, this oil is supposed to cook it and fry it as well. As you know, goat meat has a lot of water in there, so it will cook it as well as fry it softly. Yeah. So I'm just going to let that sit for a little while. Add a little bit of uh, my curry, curry spice. Like that. Because I like to spice my, my meat really well. I'm going to add my ginger spice as well. Guys, my husband is always the bomb. Okay, so I've just put in my curry and my ginger spice. I'm trying to allow that simmer in with the meat because you want to make sure that your meat is getting all I need to get. And all that. So um, I'm going to add my Italian seasoning as well. Trust me, seasonings make make the food, and because I don't really like salt, so I just do this this way. Oh, my ginger fell. Let's pick that up. Okay. Next up, I'm going to be uh, adding my sazon complete mix. This is another good good spice for the meat and as you can see it's already trying to boil up you know and simmer as well so this has to be cooked so it's going to cook and fry at the same time this is how i make my own asun and you know like asun has a lot of benefits because for all of you who are trying to do the weight loss thingy like asun is a very good option why because asun helps you to stay fuller for longer and it's keto compliant it is good for all those who are running a high protein and low carb diet because it has all the nutrients you need and i mean even if you're dieting you don't have to suffer like you don't have to have a bad bad meal because you need to lose weight like you could lose weight and still eat good is what i'm trying to say so yeah i'm going to add a bit of my time as well pardon my voice i'm a bit tired but like i got back from work yeah because i love to cook i really have to just make sure i uh do this special for him he likes it so i'm just going to let the spices sit in with the so as you can see it's already having 
a bit of water in there like it's beginning to bring out the stock and that's also going to be part of the acid because you want it to bring out the flavor and and make it really tasty and nice so we'll let that sit for a little while and then we'll come back again and show you the next steps for making the asu. So as you can see, my asu has, um, the meat has cooked. I let it cook for about 12 minutes and it has softened up to the texture I want it to be. And I have enough broth in the pot to show that this, as in goat meat, has enough flavor on its own. Now, I usually like to add Gino pepper onion mix to my asun because it thickens it. it. It comes out in a very thick paste. So like this was already, I opened it just before I started filming and that's how the paste comes out. Really thick like that. So I put in my, my goat meat. And I have to, I want to add like, I want to put like three into the asun. So I have put in um, three of my Gino pepper onion mix because I'm trying to make it thick. And by the way, in this bowl, I have, um, a little bit of the stock from the meat because I just reduced it. I didn't want it to be, I didn't know if the stock that came out of, of boiling it was going to be too much. And you know, asun needs to be like, needs to be a little bit thick. I like mine thick because, like, it's supposed to be some, <laughs> that's how asun is anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I've added that. Now I'm going to add in this bowl, I have my garlic chopped garlic and a bit of tomato so I'll just take out a little bit I like to use fresh tomatoes and fresh garlic because it gives it that freshness it makes it really nice and delicious so I'm just going to use a little bit of that and next up I'll be adding my green peppers to it like that I love green peppers so much it guys here I have a bit of my tataske and my um, pepper scotch bonnet. Yeah, I just chopped a little bit, so I'm going to add that to the mix as well. And here I have my onions, which I'm going to add. I love onions a lot, and my husband loves the cook, so yeah, I think the way I'm going to like it. I don't really like goat meat per se, but I know how to make the baddest as in town. So yeah, I'm just gonna add some more onions. If you don't like onions, you don't have to put it. But if you just, I, I know onions gives meat a nice flavor. So you can see that my asun is coming together really nicely. Yeah. So now, I need to add my favorite seasoning, which is the uh, no chicken. So I'm just going to put that in as well. And like I told you guys, I, I prefer to um, smash up my, my no seasoning because I don't like to find bits and pieces of of seasoning in my food like I don't like that at all like you just chew on one piece of meat and the next thing you just feel the seasoning in your mouth it's not such a nice nice thing so I'm just going to add that tear it up and see what it tastes like yeah That my asun is coming together really nicely. I know a lot of you are salivating already. <laughs> yeah, sorry today. I've been hiding my face. Maybe I should show my face just a little bit. Yeah, so you know it's me. 
but I go back from work and I'm so exhausted and I just put on my favorite um outfit my favorite house outfit is it's actually an adire blouse it's short it was gifted to me by my husband's cousin Tola so I just wear it at home and just cook yeah so this is the way the asom looks right now it's really coming together just going to let it sit for a while as you can see it's now looking very yummy with lots of color and yeah this is how i make my costume so please try yours guys um send me a dm send me your videos let me see what you come out let, let me see what you make <laughs> and please don't forget to ask me questions by the way this is very 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 keto compliant and it's good for people that are trying to run a um high protein low carb diet and it's just good for regular people too who just want to eat nice. like this is good this will go with a nice chilled wine cocktail juice green juice anything you want to have a week yeah so please don't forget to like subscribe and tell your friends tell your friends to tell your friends to follow the unusual chef aisha on instagram and make sure you follow me on youtube you know like subscribe stay tuned because i have like millions of recipes i'm ready to share with you guys thank you bon appetit